Hi, I'm Natalie, and this is a presentation on the gentrification of Borellis. Borellis is a small, older community in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's one of the oldest neighborhoods in New Mexico. It was formed in the 1600s, originally as a ranching settlement. But when the railroads and rail yards were being built in New Mexico, the land around them was sold to build houses for those who worked at the rail yards. So many of the houses in Borellis were built around that time. Uh, Borellis is a very, uh, it's an older and low income community within New Mexico. Many of the families that live in Borellis have lived there for several generations and unfortunately because of its rich culture there's been a higher demand in housing within Borellis. There's a lot of older traditions within Borellis, Borellis most of them being very creative and artistic. Uh, one of the best examples of this is Las Posadas which is a long-running tradition within the neighborhood where near Christmas uh, the neighborhood will get together and reenact the Virgin Mary going from house to house looking for shelter. It's a big event with lots of dancing and uh, even local sellers. Um, a newer tradition that uh, popped up during uh, 2020 is called the Art Walk where on the first Friday of every month a bunch of local artists will uh, sell art along Central and uh, one of the destinations for uh, the Art Walk is the drugstore. So the Art Walk has brought in a bunch of uh, revenue and uh, artists to Borellis. However, there has been some backlash with it um, because there's been an increase in vandalism in the neighborhood due to the art walk. Gentrification is the act of reviving older and low-income urban areas by uh, bringing in new infrastructure and tearing down old uh, Albuquerque has been going through the gentrification process since the 1960s and because of how small and local Borellis is, it only is just now starting to affect the neighborhood. Uh, while gentrification is not on a global scale, it is still a global issue. Um, it happens in almost every city in small neighborhoods where um, they try to increase the value of an area um, by driving out low-income communities and replacing that with new modern infrastructure like uh, small apartments. Um, a lot of people have called this uh, urban colonialism because it attacks small local communities and in most cases those communities are people of color. In Borellis, um, like I said, it has only just started to happen. Many of the families that live there are trying to refuse moving out because they have been living in these old historic homes for generations. Um, but unfortunately, a lot of the families have been driven out due to rising prices, and these homes have been torn down and being replaced with modern housing, such as apartments. Um, there is a homelessness problem in Albuquerque, and while that is a uh, whole other topic, um, one of the reasons for this homelessness crisis is gentrification because it does target the low-income communities and the low-income families. Um, the city of Albuquerque hasn't really done anything to help this crisis or fix it. Their idea of fixing the homelessness crisis in Albuquerque is by adding a bunch of new infrastructure and that has not been helping whatsoever. Um, because if you try to modernize a small low income community, uh, they have nowhere else to go because of the rising prices. Um, and unfortunately, uh, gentrification is inherently racist because, sadly, 
uh, most low income communities are uh, communities of color. And so a lot of people say that gentrification is also a racial issue. Uh, one of the biggest infrastructures uh, proposed recently to help bring in business and revenue to Borellis was the United Stadium. United is New Mexico's newest soccer team. And so the city proposed a $50 million stadium that would be located just outside of Borellis and it was going to be paid by uh, taxpayers. And so uh, almost the entire Borellis community rallied together in hopes of voting no because they really didn't want that traffic and that revenue and it was also going to tear down a lot of homes that were close to the rail yard that are very historic. And so the stadium was eventually voted against uh, due to these protests within Borellis. Um, since then, I believe the city has decided to work around it and find somewhere else to put the stadium. One of the best examples of gentrification within Albuquerque and within Borellis is the drugstore. The drugstore has been around for a very long time. It is kind of the center landmark of Borellis. And back in the early 2010s, its last owner died. And instead of tearing down the building or revamping it into something else, the building was slightly remodeled and turned into a art gallery for local artists. Um, it also features a museum that uh, shows the history of the drugstore. So the drugstore is one of the locations for the art walk. Uh, Martin Rodriguez uh, is a member of the Rodriguez family. They have been living in Borellas for several generations. His uh, mom was the last owner of the drugstore, and growing up, he was my neighbor. Um, his youngest daughter was my best friend and still is. Um, his family has been living in Borellas for several generations, and although he loves his house, he loves the drugstore, and his family is deeply connected to Borellis. He unfortunately has recently been considering moving just due to rising prices and the amount of offers that he's gotten for his house, which unfortunately, if he does move out, will be torn down. Um, and so we've been trying to help him uh, not move out and to hopefully get his house put on the historical registry. Um, gentrification is not always a bad thing. Um, it brings in new infrastructure, it brings in jobs, um, it brings in local artists, and it helps the community thrive. There is a way to uh, modernize a community without sacrificing what makes it that community. So the drugstore is a great example of this instead of just destroying its history and the art that is the drugstore. It was revamped into something and modernized but still allowed to have its roots. Um, but unfortunately it is more likely to be bad in the case of gentrification and so uh, it causes low-income families to move out, it causes older homes, so most of them being historic, to be torn down and turn into you know newer modern homes. Um, a lot of people of color have been displaced due to gentrification. Um, the best example is the United Stadium a lot of houses were going to be torn down for the stadium and it would only bring in revenue uh, just a couple of times a month whenever there were soccer games. I grew up in Borellis um, and it holds a very special place in my heart. Although I do not live there anymore, my mom still lives in her house, which was a house built during the railroads when they were being built. Um, and so she talks a lot about selling her house, just like Martine, and it just breaks my heart because I know that eventually it will just be torn down and destroyed and replaced with something else. Um, that local community within Brellis will be destroyed if um, the city decides that they want to modernize Brellis. 
Um, so what can you do about it? Well, not much once the city has decided on something, they've decided on something. But like in the case of the stadium, you can rally against big infrastructure bills and proposals. Uh, you can vote no. Um, and most importantly, you can just educate yourself on Albuquerque, on what you can do for the community, and um, how you can keep its artistic and cultural livelihood. Uh, in conclusion, uh, gentrification is not always bad and it's not always good. There's a middle line with how it is done. Uh, Borales is a good and bad example of this. It is a local community that unfortunately is being destroyed a little bit, but the community has been working hard to keep its cultural importance alive. Thank you.